In this video, we're gonna figure out if we can turn Elon Musk's starship into a plane. Cause why not? Yep, why not? So let's do it and let's see what we can do. Let's build the body of this beautiful rocket we're gonna fly. So fuel tanks, let's go for this one for an adapter. And then we're gonna go for, let's go for the turbine. And yep, something like that. And then we're just gonna add one more. I feel like two is enough. Two is 100% enough to reach orbit, like actual orbit. We're actually gonna reach orbit this time. So overall, this is looking pretty good so far. So I'm gonna test it out and see how far this very simple build can reach us. Oh my goodness, it is so unbelievably laggy. Oh no. Okay, I think I know why. There's like two things in the background that might be causing us insane lag, but it's fine. So this is our very simple rocket design. It's composed of two massive fuel tanks, uh, an adapter, one capsule, and a nose cone, and four engines. That's literally it. Now let's see how far just this simple thingy dingy right here can reach us. Three, two, one. Okay, and we have liftoff. And we are going. So the lag is gone because uh, we don't see those whatever those things were down there. But now we have no lag. So according to one of my... Uh, viewers he basically mentioned that speed is not really as important as I have expected in the previous videos I was primarily focusing on speed he basically said I have to like worry more about like using the right amount of speed and the right amount of fuel and like find the most efficient balance in between because from what he said if I focus primarily on speed I can't reach as high as high as I should be able to so we're not going max throttle, we're going half throttle, well a little bit over half, and we're just gonna hold this steady. Okay, and after a few minutes, will you look at that? We are officially in space, guys. For the first time ever, I am actually accurate in what I'm saying. So we are actually in space, as you can see, and to prove that, we will go on the map. The beautiful, beautiful map. Boom. We are... I don't know w what this thing is. We are just going somewhere. We're going over here. Curb and escape. Are we escaping here? Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah, we are. Yeah, we are more than. Yeah, I think we are definitely out of orbit now. Look at Kerbin. Oh, the way over there. Look at that. So now I'm going to add some of my magical touches on this beautiful craft. Okay, so we are back in the hangar, and now I'm going to be adding some of my touches into this beautiful build that we have so far. Like, part right here, and we will shove it right here. Boom. And now we're just going to add some, some, uh, some winglets. This thing has to be somewhat controllable, of course. And... I'm just gonna add one final touch. Boom. Canard in the very front. Never mind, that's a little too stupid looking. Boom. Baby canard in the front. So I think this is good. I don't even know which way is forward or backwards, but we're about to see. Okay, so we are on the landing pad, and once again, we are getting 15 FPS. I really gotta do something about these two. They are just destroying my my game. Honestly, this is pretty sick looking. So which way is forward? Oh no. Now let's do a quick test flight. We got a lot of power and a lot of lag. Okay, now let's just quickly align ourselves that way. Okay, so I'm just going to hold this right here. Okay, I'm going to speed up time just to see where we're going to go. So 200 plus, 400 plus. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, so I was wrong. 
Uh, we have actually reached Kerbin. Wait, actually, let's check. Yeah, we have. We are. Is this an orbit? I have no idea. No, this. Wait, no, this is the orbit of the moon. Is this an? Is this an orbit? I really have no idea what's happening. What's a pa a pa pa a pawapsis? A pawapsis? I have no idea what that is. But oh, but okay. Wait, is this how? F are we gonna reach one point? One million kilometers away. I mean meters away. Wait. Warp. Yeah, there's no way we are not in space now. But this, is this an orbit? No, there's no way. This is this is not an orbit because we we can't like do a full circle or something. I don't I don't really know. I don't know what's going on. I'm I just I'm just here to build cool stuff and watch them explode. That's literally all I'm doing. Okay, so this thing can reach space. As, as I had hoped, which is good. Now I just gotta tweak it up a little bit, make it even better. And by even better, I have basically added lights. Beautiful. You can't have a spaceship without lights. And then I added landing gears. Yup, look at that. So we are ready. So 20,000 approaching very, very fast. So let's tilt the ship forward. Okay, we are at 30,000 meters. We are a little bit higher than I expected. I don't really want to be this high, but we're just going to be coasting. That's all we're going to be doing. Okay, hopefully we can try re-entering pretty soon. Hopefully, hopefully. But, okay, the, ov the overall design of this is pretty sweet, I would say. It's pretty, pretty sweet. Okay, so we... Oh, no. We... We're going a little too fast. But, but we are re-entering right now. So, essentially, what you're going to be watching in a little bit is a time-lapse of the starship with a wing re-entering. And the thing is, is this vehicle is extremely aerodynamic. So, it basically crews maybe for one whole rotation of the planet just cruising no power just free falling well yeah yeah i guess it would be called free falling so i'm just gonna speed it up just for your sake Wait, can we actually gain speed like this? I'm very curious. What? Yes, we can. Look at that. We're actually gaining speed. And we're gaining lift. And we're climbing. What in the world? This is so unusual. What is that over there? Okay, so I did some off video building. Well, not really off video. I, I was building it for like a little bit. So this took me about 20 minutes to do, but I basically have recreated the the rocket, the rocket plane ship. Exact same number of fuel parts, but now it has a larger wing. It has actual wheels and actual like plane stuff. So hopefully this can actually land. Oh, are you kidding me? We don't have enough thrust. No, we are sinking. Oh no, and now we're flying. Okay. Yeah, I think we got some issues going on. A few moments later. Okay, we will eventually maneuver our way there. Yeah, we spent half of our fuel just making a turn. This is insane. Okay. We should be able to land. We have to be able to land. I literally recreated the whole plane. Well, the whole rocket just so it can land we might be going a little too fast still okay I'm gonna touch down like 100 meters per second we, we're still going too fast never mind I can't control that there we go touchdown 
and then just turn on the brakes okay never mind it's not slowing down increase the brakes oh no oh it's drifting oh we did it yes now the real question is can we take off again so let's do that right now I don't think we can never mind we can and let's go into outer space well not outer space let's just go to like let's say let's go 20,000 meters we definitely went higher than 20,000 meters but look at that okay so this will end this video I hope you guys enjoyed it I think we have built something really cool and yes we actually went to space this time i don't i don't want to see any more comments well i'm probably gonna see some comments but i hope it's not as much saying that i'm getting space wrong so yes we have built an actual space vehicle space vehicle space plane this thing is just amazing so i hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you guys on the next one